I had asked you earlier who would be reading the story and Richard volunteered and so we're just going to go with you and you're okay. going to have the experience of <laughs> being on air live. Oh, right. You know how this works by now, you've had plenty of training. Yes I do. Let's see if you've put it into action. Camera two is yours, introduce yourself. The story is on the auto queue, you have a backup one right there in front of you. If you feel like ad-libbing, adding things, knock yourself out. Okay. Shall we do this? <laughs> when you're ready. <laughs> All right, now my name is Richard Onyango, aka Richie Vojo, <laughs> contestant on The Presenter Season 2, hopefully winning tomorrow. Now, a man in Nyeri County is slowly turning white after what he says was a dose of supposed skin disease medicine. He was prescribed the drugs at a private clinic, but since then he has had a cell he has had to sell everything rather he owns to reverse what he believes were the side effects of the drugs. Katie and Central Kenya reporter Carol Derry has that story. Let's take a look at this bizarre story because I'm interested to see what happened. 55-year-old Peter Ndongo winces in pain with every body movement he makes. The misery is etched on his face as he shares his tribulations with us. His skin is covered in pale blotches which sometimes crack open leaving him in abject anguish. He cannot stay in the sun for too long and is forced to stay indoors at his shanty in Majengo slums in Nyeri. Just eight months ago, this father of six led a normal life as a guide at a local butchery, a job that he has since lost. What started with a trip to a small private clinic in Nyeri town, he says, was the beginning of his current wars. Sasa gapeo, gapeo dawa, likuwa saa malaria na typhoid. Sasa iso dawa sa wakati dikunywa, kakunywa, kakunywa siku ya kwanza, ya pili, diyo ili niumiza. Sasa gasikia mwili imepiduka, gaguka. Sasa na gasikia yani gamusho ga mahali likuwa nafanya kasi na gapele na gaela hospitali. Kuela hospitali, general hospital nyeri eh ndio dimabia tabu yangu nongo claims that no sooner did he start taking the prescribed medicine than his problems commenced sasa ndio dili si hata kutoka gosi kugazia kutoka damu kwa mwili huko kuna toka gosi yani ni damu tu yani hata kulala ni chida kukula ni chida when he sought alternative treatment at other health facilities, the doctors asked for a sample of the medicine he had taken, but upon returning to the former clinic where he had been treated, he found it closed, no longer operational. He says he has had to sell his property to settle the hospital bills and has nothing to his name. He claims that his wife left about three months ago. Kapata kitada. Kupata kitada, huko gala, gala, galazo mwezi musima. Sasa kategenezo, eh, kakuo kama nakuja vizuri kidogo. Kakuja kama nasikia na fuga, peo luza, kakuja. Ukuja, nyuma ya wikibidi. Ila ugojwa tena, igasidi. Dr. Irongo Mwangi, a practicing dermatologist in Nyeri, says photosensitive dermatitis is a condition that can be triggered by drugs but has other causes such as exposure to the sun for those predisposed to the condition or even chemicals in the environment. There are some which are triggered by drugs, others are triggered by chemicals in the environment, others are things that you apply on yourself, including cosmetics. There are various forms of photosensitive dermatitis. Mild forms, medium forms and very, very severe forms where life is almost impossible uh, on exposure to sunlight. Peter now relies on his neighbors, friends and well-wishers who pass by his shanty and offer him food when it is available. Hatuna related na yeye, lakini wakati tuliona vile kuligana na ugojwa yake, tukaona tunayasa saidiana, lakini sisi tumefika mwisho. Tunapata kwenye runinga, mambo mengi anafanyika madaktari ambao anafanya. Tunataka kujua madaktari hawa ni madaktari ambao wanafaulu, ama ni madaktari basi wanakwenda kununua makartasi na kuja ku tibu watu. Ngobe dilikuwa na ye, yote ni meuza. Buzi dikuwa na ye, yote ni meuza. Na siku saidika. Sasa gaisha kila kitu. Sasa sina kitu yoyote. He is a pale shadow of his former self, but remains optimistic that a cure is round the bend. Carol Derry Katie, Neri County.
that uh, very, I'm not even sure what to that label it, story, story. Yeah, yes, from Neri. But how do you think you did in terms of well, your presentation? I did good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask what your comment